Hi everyone, it's Robin. I have a project to share with you again today on behalf of the Wild Orchid Crafts YouTube design team, The Wild Bunch. I have created a travel mini album and it measures seven and a half inches by six and a quarter inches and I've um, just used the paper collection by Making Memories called Great Escapes and I picked that up at scrapbook.com a while back. And so the, um, I use a lot of the embellishments. I got the tags that went with it. Um, I took them out of here, but this is what, actually it doesn't even go with it. This goes to the pan, um, Panorama collection. And I've also used the journaling tags called Passport. And then these ones are from The Great Escape. Uh, this is the one that has the canvas tags, chipboard tags. And I did pick all of these up from scrapbook.com. And I'm not sure if they're still available because I got them a little bit ago, uh, probably a month or so ago. And let me zoom out a little bit. So I've just incorporated one of the tags here on the cover, one of the tickets there. And then this I cut from the pattern paper, added some Webster's Pages stickers. I was looking for different color stickers, but I looked at Hobby Lobby and in my stash. I just don't have anything. So I went with this. This was the closest to what I was looking for. Uh, this I just cut from the pattern paper, stamped it with a close to my heart stamp uh, set. I don't have it handy here, so if you're really interested, just let me know. I can look. And added an eyelet there to uh, make it look like a ticket or a tag. And okay, so the flower clusters this is a 40 millimeter trellis rose. Added some small two tone gardenias, a wild rose uh, here and here, and then a 20 millimeter. Uh, open rose um, and this is in the rust color and I will have the links to these products in the information bar down below uh, rather than pull out all the products and show you the codes right now. Added some sweetheart blossoms in here as well as some closed rose buds here here and then here. Tucked in some skeleton leaves in natural and yellow as well as some punches um, punch outs from the pattern paper using a Martha Stewart leaf punch. So that's about all on the front cover. Of course, this one is the same as this one. Rosette trim here, or lace, and then rosette trim to the spine. And then I'll go over the back cover uh, toward the end. Okay, so on to the inside. Very simple mini because the papers are a little bit busy. Um, so I just left a lot of space for photos and very little embellishments. So um, I cut this top note shape out. And this uh, was a travel uh, Fisker stamp that I got from scrapbook.com as well. And I stamped that a couple of times using Weather Vane Jenny Bolin ink. And just made a pocket out of this. So I um, added a couple of the tags in there. And I just tied a bow at the top of each of those. Added some of the summer blooms from Wild Orchid Crafts as well as some of the self-adhesive rhinestones. This is a close to my heart camera stamp and I stamped it onto the pattern paper, cut it out and then added glossy accents to it and popped it up on some dimensionals. So uh, most of the stamp, the rest of the stamps will be close to my heart or um, Kay Andrew designs. I used a couple of hers and that might be it. So, okay, so this is an envelope pocket style uh, mini album. And so each of these pull out. This is a pocket in each of these. So some of them have a little ticket or a tag, some don't. But just so you know, it shows that it is a pocket, I just put that there. Stamp the word click, finding a happy place. And then um, on the inside, you ought to be in pictures. And then I uh, hand drew these uh, journaling lines on there. And then the back is plain. So, and these work great for the collage um, feature that you can get from Walgreens or Walmart or even the wallet size photos. This is perfect. And uh, I wouldn't go four by six unless it was in the uh, portrait style, but that would certainly work for this album on a lot of the pages. Just added some more summer blooms there and then a self-adhesive rhinestone. Stamp the word smile. Added a couple more flowers. Again, this is a pocket in here. Pull this out stamped a couple of doilies and then remember again the hand drawn journaling lines the back again is plain and then this page again simple uh, use some foam stickers these are from paper studio 
and again some more summer blooms on both of these pages this again this compass shows that this is a pocket can be used and it is functional go ahead and laugh I stamped that there and that is a K Andrew designs stamp and this is a close to my heart that I uh, stamped that I stamped in Versamark and then clear embossed I love it it's like a film canister and um, butterflies coming off of it so that's a they have some really cute stamps. I really like them. And tuck this in here. This page with the surfboards. Um, it's one of my favorites. I think it's just really pretty. And then um, I think it's probably the colors. And then some more of the summer blooms. This I cut good times on my Cricut. And that came, well actually I just did that using Plant and School Book and then kind of just um, scrunched it together and then welded it. And this pulls out, Brave is Beautiful, and then stamped a couple of uh, the Close to My Heart stamps in there. And then the back is plain. Super, super simple, but it, again, it does leave quite a bit of space for photos. A couple of the tickets and um, ephemera pieces from what I showed you, um, the Making Memories sets. Cut this out from the Going Places Cricut cartridge at three inches and stamped this close to my heart stamp. It says a picture is worth a thousand words. Punched it out with a one and a quarter inch circle punch, popped it up on dimensionals, added the summer bloom there, and then here and here. Uh, this, again, I used Plant and School Book on my Cricut and my Gypsy and welded that. Pull this out, more journaling here, the word smile, and then typical family photo, so that could be something, you know, just a fun family photo or silly or somebody has a funny face or eyes closed as so often happens. Um, I really like this page because I think it's um, just as a nice feature to have in an album and I just took one of the chipboard die cut pieces a ticket stamped 10 things and then also down here that make today great and then I cut out um, 10 of these little tags and stamped 1 through 10 on each one well, one uh, corresponding number on each of the tickets. And then this is a Stampin' Up! scalloped envelope that I've just tucked them into. Added a summer bloom here and here with the rhinestones again. Word Memories, again from uh, Plant and School Book. A couple of summer blooms. This is a pocket. And then pull this out. Snapshot with the journaling lines. And these came from K. Andrew Design Stamp. It says, Life is Grand. And whimsy is essential. And then again, the um, space on the back for another good size photo. And of course, you know, um, you're not limited with these to just the, the insert. You can tuck more into these little pockets. There's more space. And then I cut this uh, camera out and turned it into, um, just put the summer blooms there and turned it into a journaling spot. And this came from, I um, can't think of the name of it. But, let me see, and I don't have it handy here, do I? Well, it came from a Stamps of Life, this set here, and it's called List to Write. And so that came from that, the hand-drawn journaling lines. This is just a pocket there. Lots of summer blooms in here. They don't add a lot of dimension, but they add just a little pop of color and texture. Uh, cut a top note again for the back cover. And added one of the canvas journaling spots that says Enjoy the Journey. That tucks right back there. And then uh, another scalloped envelope. And then this has a journaling spot in there. So um, these, these albums are so simple but yet functional and fun. And um, so this back page, I cut out this library pocket that was from the Going Places Cricut cartridge. And I cut that at, a, I flipped it and then cut it at 11 point three four inches so and that gave me a perfect one for a 12 by 12 and it used half of it and then this is just one of the uh, tickets from the set and I backed it with some pattern paper and it journaling space there and it's got the camera already cut out and then to the top of that I added of course my information at the bottom there a couple of summer blooms and then these tickets also came from uh, one of the ephemera packs so that is the album that I have um, been working on the last couple of days. I had a good time making it. Um, it's been on my list of things to do for about a month now. So, um, And then, oh, this came from Wild Orchid Craft. Uh, but 
So if you have any questions, let me know. And um, as always, I have the links to the products that I've used from Wild Orchid Crafts in the information bar down below. So let me know if um, you have any questions about anything, and I'd be happy to answer. Thanks for watching. Bye.